it, if Bruno would shoot on Neg, it would be processed, and that was a very controlled, very defined process. And then if it was scanned or whatever, it would also be controlled. So after 100 years, the, the, the pipeline of shooting film was quite defined, and there were very few surprises. And then we inserted the digital intermediate, um, which meant you, that you could digitize the neg, change the color, and put it back out again. So that was also quite controlled. What it meant was those controls were also locked into the boxes. So you, you would use a scanner, and it, it would scan it in the way that Kodak or uh, Imagica had defined. With digital, it really is an absolute free-for-all because wh what I've noticed is there are a lot more people involved in the color pipeline, from the camera to the dit to uh, the onset grading to the near set grading to, to the very room itself. So you, to, cynically, it's almost as if the digital industry the camera manufacturers and the, uh, the grading manufacturers and so forth um, or, or ha have kind of commercialized that process, whereas with film, it was another group of people. So what I'm finding is that I'm spending a lot of time pulling back those layers to make sure that, that say, Bruno uh, vision in terms of the light and the color is uh, respected and he has that kind of discipline that the original film lab had because in terms of image manipulation you can just now do anything and even in terms of grading <laughs> you have this thing called linear light so it, it completely changes uh, how the process is looked at. Very I'm good. sorry. <laughs> Can you imagine what I have to go through when we are grading? <laughs>